Hey, Dread Central. Hi. Hi. Uh, Ryan, what's your character Charlie like? Are you guys similar or totally different? Um, yes, of course. Um, so this was actually really fun because this was the first shoot I had ever done where I could actually really explore myself in the character. And Keith had actually given me a lot of control to do what I wanted on set and kind of change things to how I wanted them. And I know one of our call Zooms, I should say, beforehand, um, I was telling him about my new drawings and that I was just learning how to, st I was studying how to draw eyes and realism. And so I showed Keith and he's like, you know what, we should incorporate that into Firestarter because there was a, already a scene where um, I was actually drawing in one of the scenes and we were like, you know what, let's, let's create that as such a big part. So I ended up drawing a lot of eyes um, and it was really cool because in the movie there were so many close-ups of eyes and facial features and it was, it was really, really cool. And so um, it was really cool that I could like put that into Charlie um, from myself. Thank you. Uh, Keith, what are some other favorite Stephen King properties of yours? Stories or books? What are your faves? Yeah, so I love Carrie. Um, and I think the film adaptation of Carrie is incredible, uh, very influential. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I mean, because it's good, that's why. But I like Cycle of the Werewolf quite yeah. a lot, and Bernie Wrightson's art in that. Um, and then, you know, Skeleton Crew is another favorite. I just, I really, I, I feel like with Stephen King's shorter work, um, for me, that really hits the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, than some of the longer books. Awesome. For both of you, what was it like working with pyrotechnics? Did it ever get freaky on set or was it fun? I mean, it was fun I and was freaky really fun. at the same time. Uh, you know, we had a lot of, a lot of, you know, anytime you're lighting people on fire, it gets, it gets interesting, especially yeah. when you're lighting <laughs> your cast on fire. Mm -hmm. um, it gets even more interesting. It gets more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. So, uh, you know, it was, everything was well prepared. We had all the stunt team there and everyone gelled up and extinguishers <laughs> ready at any, at any given time. But uh, fire's unpredictable. I mean, that's the, the joy of it. And uh, so, you know, you, you both want it to be very safe and very contained and exactly what you want. But at the same time, you want that unpredictability yeah. of where it's gonna spread and how it's gonna spread and what it's gonna look like. So you can get that freakiness if yeah. you've prepared enough for it. Yeah, I might add, um, throughout the whole film, um, it was very, very safe. And I know, like, I would even walk out of my trailer and there was a whole, <laughs> like, um, a fire department, like, right there. And I was just like, oh, hey, guys, <laughs> good wow. morning. Um, and it, it always felt really safe. And Keith wanted to build this world where it kind of came to life on set. And um, that's one of the things I loved, and I don't think you get that often at all, uh, where you have a director always open to ideas and creative and was always willing to collaborate and also had that kind of freedom on set and also put all these special effects, or not special effects, but real effects um, everywhere. And I know the on-set house, like in one room, it looked completely normal and the other like had all these air tanks and it like blowing things off the walls. And it was honestly such a cool experience. experience. Awesome. Keith, what's the movie that scared you the most growing up? Oof, that's a tough one. You know, I a lot of the traditional horror movies I found just fascinating. So like The Exorcist, um, Alien. I just, I, I love these movies and would watch them. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was more a fascination. But in terms of the ones that actually scared me, uh, you know, one I could think of was Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, which it, I think it's just because it's real, you know, and it just feels so grungily authentic. That's yeah, the kind yeah. of thing that scares me more than any supernatural thing. Awesome. Uh, did you get to meet Stephen King on this film? And if so, what was he like? This is for both of you. <laughs> we didn't. I didn't. He, Stephen <laughs> was involved in early stages before I got on. He had approved the script and he quite loved the script. And then he had approved me as a director. And at that point, once we went off to production, he was like, do your thing. Yeah. Let's okay. see what you guys come up with. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. And for both of you, why do you think it's tough for Charlie to control her powers? Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, I know um, 
one of the things that stood out to me was she was becoming like a young woman. And, and so because of that, it was harder and harder to con control in growing up. And she ends up revealing these lies that her, she, she was just covered with and revealing them and being like, oh, this was false, this was false, this was false. And that could be really overwhelming, um, especially for her growing up, uh, living a lie, really, um, in a fake life that she didn't really have. And I think that was something that was really hard for her um, to also see that her parents were creating those lies out of love um, and for protection for um, her child, even though at the time that may be really scary for her, being like, wow, like my parents were lying to me this entire time, who can I trust? Um, but at the same time, she has to realize that that was also out of love and intention for protection. Perfect. Yeah, and I think that's the key is the, the kind of turmoil. It's hard enough being in middle school Mm -hmm. let alone having a living a life on the run and not really understanding what's going on and, and all of us you know when we're when we're getting older we're things are changing and we're changing and we're trying to make sense of it and if you add the fact that you know this is a girl who can burn people alive on <laughs> top of that mm -hmm. it makes for some a, a real crisis perfect it was great meeting you both thank you for everything yes thank, thank you, so you.